the ancient Greek theatre, as a building, is considered to be a worldwide architectural innovation. Theatres were always built on the slope of a hill, which served as a gathering space, for dramatic performances which started to become an institution by the 6th century BC. As drama began to play an important role in the city's life, theatres received the first wooden seats called Ecrea. But the need for more seats and better organization of the spectacle, led to the construction of larger stone theatres which also served the function of democratic states. The ancient Greek theatre consists of three main parts. The colon, the orchestra, and the skene. The colon was the place where the spectators used to seat. The stone seats of the spectators were called edolia, and were accessed by stairs, the klimakis, located in radial arrangement. The area between the stairs was called Kirkus. The large theatres usually had a diazoma, a corridor that facilitated the movement of spectators. The diazoma divided the theatre into two parts, the proper theatre and the epitheatre. The first row of seats was intended for officials and often took the form of marble thrones. This series of seats was called the Prodrea. The orchestra was the circular space in the middle of the theatre. The name comes from the Greek verb which means to dance and was the place where the chorus of the performances stood. In the center of the orchestra, there was an altar called Temele dedicated to Dionysus who was the patron god of the theatre. Around the orchestra, there was a water drainage trench which was called Evropus. The Skene building was the actual stage where the actors stood and had a complex function. It was used as a storage space, as a dressing room, and as a backdrop that was transformed depending on the play. To the right and left of the Skene were the Paradoi, the entrances for the spectators and the actors too. The Skene was divided into sections. The Paraskenia were the two protruding wings, which served as a storage space. The Praskenian was usually a colonnade, located on the façade of the Skene. Its top was called Logion, and was the actor's area of performance. In the larger theatres there was an additional level called Theologion, used for the appearance of gods. Various mechanisms have been invented for the needs of the theatrical plays in order to make the spectator's experience more interesting. Usually the backdrops were large paintings depicting landscapes or buildings, temples and palaces. To change the backdrops, and to harmonize them with the narrative of the play, they used the periactoi, which were wooden rotating structures holding different painting themes. Another machine was the mikani. It was a small crane lifting the actor who played a god to create the illusion of flight. From this came the expression, deus ex machina. In the tragedies they never showed violent scenes to the crowd. The effects of violent events, such as murder, were shown on stage with a moving platform, the Echiklima. In some theatres there was the Caronian Stairway, an underground tunnel leading from the scene to the orchestra, and used for performances of characters associated with the world of the dead. Another mechanism of sudden appearance of characters was the anapiesma, a wooden platform that lifted the actor up and made him almost magically appear on stage. The ancient Greek theatre, with its architectural structure and technology has contributed to the better expression of the ancient drama, and its survival until today.